If you want to learn AI from scratch, then this video is exactly what you need. I will give you a complete step-by-step -step roadmap from learning the basics to monetizing your new skills. Now, first, we need to decide on the reason and the end goal. Ask yourself, why do I want to learn AI? Is it purely for Aww. career purposes? Or have you tried generative AI tools and want to know more about them? Kind of like a hobby? Because the answer to this question will partially determine what you will learn and how you will learn. For example, if I was to learn AI to find a job later, I would need to take a longer, more difficult approach. I would need to learn all the basics, learn how to code, learn data science and so much more. The best part about this approach is that it gives access to so many career options. For example, here's a job offer for a junior data scientist that pays $100 to $120,000 a year. Or here's another one with a salary between $140 and $170,000. There are over 10,000 job offers in LinkedIn with a salary over $120,000. So yeah, I would say learning AI for career purposes could be a great decision on your part. However, if I was just enthusiastic about AI, I would lean more towards practical solutions, mastering existing tools and models. This in turn opens doors to different types of skill monetization, such as freelancing, selling courses and so on. Another question you need to ask yourself at this stage is code or no code? The no code approach is easier, but it is far more limiting. For example, let's say you want to generate an image. If you don't know how to code, all you can do is use services like Midjourney or Dolly or opt for platforms like Run Diffusion, give you a bit more control over the results and allow you to more precisely tweak the model. However, in this case, you're practically limiting yourself to the services and what they allow you to do. So if you decide that you can train the model a bit better for your specific task, you might not be able to do so. The code focused approach, on the other hand, gives you far more flexibility, both in terms of the models you can use and the things you can do with those models. For example, let's say you want to create deep fake videos. A no-code way of doing things would be scouring the web for available tools, paying for subscriptions, having almost no control over the outcome, and hoping that the results would be somewhat decent. But if you know how to code and ready for a challenge, you will be able to deploy one of the available deep fake models right on your computer, tweak every parameter to your liking, give the model access to as much data as you want and as a result get a flawless deepfake. And by the way, here's a list of great deepfake models that you can try. But again, you have to have at least some coding skills and be ready to spend hours tweaking everything. And I'm sitting here talking about a career in AI and I didn't even mention how you can learn all that. For this, I recommend Artificial Intelligence Engineer Master's Program by Simply Learn. This program is a collaboration of Simply Learn and IBM. And during the program, students will get access to hackathons master classes and ask me anything sessions by IBM. Additionally, the program gives access to 25 projects and integrated labs with hands-on learning. Basically, you won't be studying the theory alone. You will also practice a lot. Just look at the list of tools and programs covered. There's everything from Python to ChatGPT. The program starts light with a few introductory lessons, then dives deep into how it all works and Python. So along with learning all about AI, you will also learn how to code. Win-win. There's a lot of data science related courses at the beginning. Do you know why? Because AI is all about data and data science. Then there are courses about machine learning, computer vision reinforcement learning, and so much more. After completing the program, students get a certificate that will make it clear for all the recruiters that you are on the edge of the latest knowledge. Just look at all the jobs this certificate makes possible. AI engineer, data scientist, machine learning engineer. This program is a serious ace that, by the way, has been rated world's number one online bootcamp. The next cohort is starting soon with limited seats available. So click the link in the description to supercharge your brain. Okay, but let's say you recently watched Mr. Robot and now want to learn coding. Good, then start with Python. Python is the go-to language for anyone trying to learn AI. Of this, I'm certain. Firstly, Python is easy to learn. Its syntax is straightforward and readable, especially when compared to other programming languages. This helps beginners quickly get a grasp of programming concepts without getting bogged down by complicated structures. When I tried to learn C Sharp, this was really hard. Another reason to go Python is its strong library support. Libraries like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Scikit-Learn are essential in AI development. They basically give pre-built functions and frameworks that help simplify complex AI tasks, allowing you to focus more on solving problems rather than building tools 
from scratch. Python also has a large and active community, which means there are plenty of resources available, such as tutorials, documentation, and forums. And as an icing on the cake, your knowledge of Python can be used not only in the AI field. Python integrates well with other languages and tools. So whether you're working on web applications, data analysis, or scientific computing, Python is equally capable of everything. So once you learn Python, you can practically do anything. But Python alone won't cut it. To learn AI effectively, you need to reverse engineer existing models and tools. There is no better place to find them than GitHub. Many AI projects, models, and data sets are shared in GitHub by the people for people. Now, what is that I said learn GitHub? Well, despite looking like a regular website, GitHub is far more complicated and takes some time to learn how to properly use it. But hey, if you manage to do it, you will literally get access to the knowledge of coders from all over the world. Models, data sets, or even complete projects for you to learn from, GitHub has it all. And as a bonus, your GitHub is actually your programming portfolio. So when you start applying for AI jobs, you will be able to actually prove that you know your stuff. I can't stress how important reverse engineering is in learning AI. Again, we're talking about a coding approach now. With a no-code approach, you don't have to do any reverse engineering. Reverse engineering is the simplest and quickest way to learn how AI works. To look inside that black box that takes an input and gives an answer. So go ahead and download a couple projects that seem interesting to you and align with with your skill level, slightly exceeding it. Then start going through the code and see what each line does. I'm telling you, after you reverse engineer a couple such projects, you will feel far more comfortable with AI and your own skill. You will be able to break these projects into individual pieces and combine them into something new, something that works just for you. Or if you want to balance between the code and no code, I would advise you to try and deploy couple different models on your computer. Not all models require deep programming skills. For many open source projects, you only need the most basic knowledge of Python and a couple libraries. If you decide to go this way, I recommend you choose models that have some sort of a visual interface so that you could operate them more easily. I'd say that this way of doing things can be a next step for people who already feel confident with web-based AI models, but don't feel ready for programming challenges. When learning AI, it's crucial to not limit your to one specific thing, at least in the beginning. When you're just starting, you need to try as many things as possible. This is the only way to find out what you're really interested in that works for you. If you feel that image generation is something you want to look deeper into, maybe you should also check out the video generation models. Or if you are into language processing, then maybe you should also take a look at data science. There are so many directions you can choose, and that's why I advise you to look into different options earlier. Once you complete a couple introductory courses and try new things yourself, it will be the time to pick your option to choose the direction you want to grow. It can be language processing, data science, or even developing AI models. It's all up to you. But making this choice is a crucial step in everyone's AI journey. Once you do pick a clear direction, it all becomes slightly easier. You just find a course and complete it, then another one, then another one, then you reverse engineer as many existing projects as you can and try to come up with your own project, trying to create it from scratch. Then you refine it, get rid of mistakes, optimize the algorithms, and debug, debug, debug. Though this is only if you decide to choose a coding approach. If you pick a simpler way without coding, all those previous steps with completed education courses are practically irrelevant to you. You know what you like and you just practice it. For example, if you're into image generation, you just open up Midjourney, some documentation for it and start trying things out. Trying different prompts, different parameters, different keywords and so on, but try to do it at least systematically. Create a file where you would note all the prompts you try and how each parameter affects the result. Then once you feel like you can do everything with Midjourney, go on and try to deploy a stable diffusion model on your computer. Rinse and repeat. Try out different things, different prompts and different combinations of them. Train in the model on your data, find the best data type that works for you, and so on. And the last step would be to start monetizing your new skills. If you opt for a no-code approach, good solution for you would be to create an education course and try selling it. Or you can also go freelance and offer your services to people, or you can train your model and try to make it publicly available for people to use, kind of like Run Diffusion from earlier, or you can just start selling prompts. And as I mentioned before, a code-based approach opens far more doors. You can straight up start applying for AI-related jobs. At this point, you already have completed many courses, you have a great GitHub portfolio and a couple projects under your belt. You know how to reverse engineer someone else's work and you can work with different models yourself. The chances of getting a job are pretty high in this case and salaries that go over one 
$100,000 are also very much possible. Learning AI isn't a walk in the park. It's a pretty complicated process. For some, it might take only a couple months to get up to speed, but if you have limited time and resources, I'd say a year would be enough to go from zero to a competent AI engineer. But if you are more interested in simple ways of monetizing your existing AI skills, we recently made a video with the best AI side hustles. Be sure to check it out next. Thanks for watching and see you there.